Distracted driving remains one of the leading causes of accidents today. Many high school students were once again reminded of the deadly consequences they may face with a mock car crash. Our Brenda Mack tells us more. It was a tragic crash site involving two cars and three victims at Park Rapids today. In a split second, the route these students were taking became one that led towards the ER. Fortunately, the scene was staged. On text and driving, that's the number one problem and issue that we, we run into. For every six seconds, a distracted driver takes their eyes off the road for at least four. It's like it's not just texting, it's like social media, like Snapchat and all that stuff. With a mock crash scene, city officials want to leave students with a lesson they will never forget. I was pretty distressed. And also demonstrate how first responders react, react to, a to a scenario. When an accident happens, a lot of times, the longest wait is before somebody shows up. A quick response time is the most crucial aspect to getting life saved. Here in northern Minnesota, it takes about 45 minutes for responders to get to a location. But officials are assuring that extensive training has been provided for responders to react efficiently. We all function as a team. The state of Minnesota's EMS trauma system, the trauma system making sure the patient goes to the most appropriate facility within as quickly time as possible. This is really important. A father also took the opportunity to send a personal message across. Her first day of senior year was also her last. Three years ago, his daughter collided with a stationary bus while sending a text. A simple, small, bad choice, that's it. Realize how much can change, and not just your own life, but you're actually really affecting your family too, so. Yeah, it's pretty selfish to text and drive, yeah. think about all your parents and friends. And we just want people to refocus on what they should be doing behind the wheels to keep, make sure everyone stays safe. In Park Rapids, Brenna Mack, Lakeland News. Enforcement officials also want to thank Dix Auto for their help with the event. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.